Hey everybody, it's Jason with Lexington and Antiques again. I um, got a chance to stop by the booth at Little Mountain here in South Carolina. It's actually at a store called Who Needs New Antiques. I will put the information right up here somewhere. Um, and like I said, it's just a quick walkthrough to show what's currently available there. Um, and this is right before Christmas. So uh, if you see something you're interested in, you can contact me uh, by email or by message. And if not, you can try to contact the store. Um, like I said, that information will be included. And uh, let's check it out. All right, so this booth also is all military items. This was actually the, I can't remember if this is the third or fourth booth that I was able to get. But um, I love trench art lamps. I think I have the majority of my lamps here. There's four or five trench art lamps available um, as well as lots of smalls you know great items should sit on the shelf in your collection this photo is a professionally framed uh, world war one era photo i love the little wooden uh, carved trench art piece there more trench art that poster is a political poster from general dozier who was a uh, Adjutant General of the South Carolina Army Guard and Air Guard. These M19 binoculars are pretty cool. I just picked those up. I took out all the bayonets I had here and actually replaced them with new finds. Um, that German hunting knife is up here as well as um, some other bayonets and I think another civilian type knife. A great flare gun uh, was available there. It's World War II era flare gun. And some more trench art. I love the little ruptured duck uh, window hanger there that's shown the red border there. The World War I era uh, print. Lots of helmets, of course medals and photos, foot lockers, lots of storage uh, options. It's a great trench art frame. I think it's really cool, all the different caliber bullets on it. Some more uniforms. There's the one of the other trench art lamps I have. And that print is actually of uh, Chuck Yeager and it's Signed by Chuck Yeager. I'm getting over towards the uh, military aviation seat there, ejection seat, I believe. I have two, and I've identified the other one as a 238. This one, I'm not sure. If you happen to know what it is, please make a comment or shoot me a message and let me know because. I haven't been able to, to identify it yet. It's really cool. It's just got the casters on it. Great man cave piece. My kids love playing like their pilots on the one I have here in my garage. Ship. Ship. Wave bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Wave. Wave. No, wave. <laughs> All right. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that little walkthrough. Um, I'm planning on doing a few more videos, um, like I said, at a minimum weekly. Sometimes I might have a couple up during the week. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you get notified when I put a new video up. Um, make sure you head over to the Facebook page. Um, cause I also put information there when I make new finds or uh, add things to a store or a booth. Um, I appreciate everybody for watching, and until the next video.